Can 100 average human men beat a single gorilla in a fight? No weapons, no tools, just raw fists, brute strength, and primal instinct. Sounds ridiculous, right? Let's set the scene. A steel-walled arena. One side, 100 average men, office workers, bartenders, Uber drivers, a few with dad bods, maybe one or two weekend warriors who think they still have it. On the other side, a fully grown male silverback gorilla, 600 pounds of raw power, arms the size of your torso, a bite force that can crush bone, and a rage that doesn't come with rules. Who wins? At first glance, it's a no-brainer. One versus a hundred? That's a beatdown waiting to happen, right? Not so fast. Let's break this down scientifically. And spoiler, the truth is not what you expect. To understand this matchup, we need to understand the gorilla, specifically the adult male silverback. These beasts are about five and a half feet tall when standing upright, but don't let that fool you. They have the muscle density of a bodybuilder and the strength of a small car. No, seriously, tests show a silverback gorilla can deadlift over 1,800 pounds. That's more than four refrigerators, and they can throw with the force of a wrecking ball. Their arms are nearly twice as long as a human's, giving them terrifying reach. Their jaws? Over 1,300 PSI of bite force. That's stronger than a lion. And their skull is basically built like a helmet. Thick, reinforced bone designed for head-on collisions. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Gorillas don't even train. This strength is baseline. Imagine if The Rock was born The Rock, with no gym, no supplements, just pure muscle straight out of the womb. That's a silverback gorilla. Now, let's look at the other side. What do we mean by average men? Statistically, the average adult male in the US is five foot nine, weighs about 198 pounds, and can maybe bench press their own body weight on a good day. They have no combat training, no coordination as a group, no strategy. They get winded climbing stairs. Some of them are texting during the walk to the arena. Now multiply that by 100. On paper, 100 humans sounds like an unstoppable wall of flesh. But humans are not great in chaotic hand-to-hand -hand combat scenarios, especially untrained ones. Mob mentality isn't as helpful when there's no leader, no plan, and your opponent isn't afraid to maul. And here's where it gets even more interesting. You might be thinking, well, if they rush the gorilla at once, surely they could overwhelm it with sheer numbers. But wait until you hear this next part. Because nature doesn't care about numbers. It cares about physics, pain tolerance, and raw aggression. Let's say the men do rush in. The first 10 that reach the gorilla, they're done. Instantly. A gorilla can swing its arm with enough force to shatter a ribcage or launch a body several feet away. And gorillas aren't just strong, they're violent in bursts. They fight other gorillas by charging, biting, slamming, and dragging. To a silverback, 100 men aren't a threat. They're chew toys. And remember, this gorilla isn't afraid. Humans are. Our survival instinct kicks in. You see someone's arm snap like a pretzel, and your brain says, run. Group coordination collapses. Fear spreads like wildfire. So instead of 100 attackers, the gorilla is now facing 20 confused men, 40 panicked ones, and 40 who are trying to live stream it for TikTok. Also, how many of those men are even in shape to fight? Let's be real, not every dude is built for a brawl. Now here's the kicker. A gorilla doesn't tire like humans do. They have a slow metabolism, efficient use of energy, and insane fast twitch muscle power. So it only takes a few well-timed slams and bites to turn that group into scattered bodies. Okay, okay, let's not underestimate Team Human just yet. We do have a few advantages. For one, humans are smarter. If even a handful of those 100 guys figured out a coordinated tactic, like flanking or surrounding, it could increase the odds. Gorillas don't have battlefield awareness like humans do. They focus on one threat at a time. If the men could time an all-out attack, swarming the gorilla's limbs, grabbing its arms and legs, holding it down, they might be able to restrain it. But here's the problem, one mistake, and someone dies. Gorillas aren't just strong, they're aggressively unpredictable. One whip of its body, and it could shake men off like water from a dog. Also, how long could they hold it? What if it bites? What if it throws someone into the others? If even two or three men get taken out in the initial charge, the rest will hesitate. And hesitation is death in a fight. Let's flip it around. 
What if the gorilla knew it was fighting for its life? What if it was cornered, panicked, and enraged? Because a scared animal is the most dangerous animal of all. At that point, it's not even a fight, it's a massacre. But here's where it gets really interesting. Researchers have actually modeled similar scenarios in military and wildlife training simulations. In one mock scenario, 50 highly trained soldiers with body armor and tactical teamwork had a fair chance of neutralizing a silverback. Barely. But 100 untrained civilians? The math doesn't favor them. Even if each man landed a punch, a gorilla's pain threshold is so high it might not feel it. You'd need dozens of men just to weigh the gorilla down. And then, what? Do they choke it out, sit on it, hug it into submission? It's not just about numbers, it's about coordination, timing, risk tolerance, and we're just not built for that kind of fight. But here's the final question. What would it take for humans to win? All right, let's answer this once and for all. Can 100 average men beat a gorilla? The definitive science-based answer is almost certainly no, not without weapons, not without training, not without a strategy. The gorilla is simply too strong, too durable, too explosive, and too terrifying in close quarters. Even with the numbers, the psychological shock, the disorganization, and the lack of coordination among the humans make the odds nearly impossible. The first 20 men would be casualties. The next 30 would be in shock. The remaining 50? Probably running for the exits. Unless they got incredibly lucky, or the gorilla just gave up, the silverback wins. Hands down. Every time. But here's the twist. This question tells us more about us than it does about gorillas. Because humans weren't built to be fighters, we were built to be thinkers, toolmakers, strategists. Put those same 100 men in a room with time to plan, tools to build, and strategies to execute. Suddenly, we're the apex predators. We don't beat gorillas in the arena, we beat them in evolution. We survive by outsmarting, not overpowering. And that's the true advantage of the human animal. So next time you hear someone say, bro, I could totally take a gorilla, just smile. And maybe send them this video. Because science doesn't lie, and gorillas don't care about your deadlift. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the strangest battle you never knew you needed, give us a like, subscribe to the Curiosity Code, and drop your next crazy question in the comments. We'll take the weird and make it wonderful. See you next time.